had a gentleman today share with me his outlook on the years ahead of us. And he says to me that he was convinced that we are going to experience some very tough years before we see things getting better. And what I find very interesting about this is that he was looking at the journey that is ahead of us and looking towards a brighter future as people begin to awake and they begin to take their communities, their nation back. And as I look at the devotional today, I see this is exactly this, is that Paul and Silas were able to look through their current situation to kind of some eternal promises. These individuals, according to the devotionalists, it's wonderfully written, um, had just been really beaten and thrown into jail. They could have been reflecting on their own condition, but they didn't do that at all. What they did was they reflected on the condition of those that were in the jail and the fact that they could have been headed for an eternity in hell. And that prompted them to continue the work. They preached. They sung. This put the jailer at such peace that he must have dozed off. And so when the earthquake came, he thought that they all had left. And he began to take his own life. And they assured him that they were all there and all was well. And this is where we find us, ourselves in Acts 16, 30 and 31. Sirs, what must we do to be saved? And they said unto him, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. And so because of how they responded through the journey in their current situation, they had the opportunity not only to share the gospel to all of those that were in, in jail, but also the jailer. And this is a phenomenal opportunity, and we should learn this. No matter what lies ahead, if we'll continue to stay in the faith and to stay faithful to the Lord, an opportunity in the future may arise that we can share Christ with others. So why don't we, right now, see that we could be really paving the way to, to an opportunity in the future to really share the gospel. So let's be faithful in our journey and uh, let's just really look for the Lord to lead. May God bless you, and I uh, hope you're having a great day.